Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian and in this video we'll talk about HP Pavilion 16 inch gaming laptop which is very special at this price point. I'm gonna let you know why exactly it deserves your attention, we'll talk about its unique features, discuss its specs, in-game's performance and in the end we'll make a comprehensive conclusion, so ladies and gentlemen sit back and enjoy. So look, it's actually the screen and graphics card which make this machine to stand out. It costs only 900 US dollars at the moment and packs 6 gigabytes of dedicated video memory on board. I'll repeat, 6 gigabytes graphics card in a budget under 1000 US dollars. This is really awesome. 80 watts NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti allows you to run any game you want at high graphic settings and during comfortable frame rates. But we'll talk about specific numbers a bit later. This HP laptop features a gorgeous 16.1 inch Full HD IPS panel with pretty high refresh rate at 144Hz, enabling extremely smooth gaming experience even during most intense scenes. Its brightness is fine for a gaming laptop, I'd even say it is above the average at 300 nits, it's enough to work and play at home, in the office, at the cafe and even outside, in the shadows. It also has very precise color accuracy at 96% sRGB gaming coverage making it a solid choice for creative work like photo and video editing, motion design, web design, blender and so on. And the hardware totally allows you to do all of that at ease. The CPU we got is 10th generation Intel i5 CPU which is rocking 4 cores and 8 threads at pretty high speeds. I'm talking 2.5 GHz base and 4.5 GHz boosted frequencies, which is actually amazing for a laptop at this price point. This CPU is a good choice for multitasking, coding, compiling and emulating operation systems, any sort of calculations and of course gaming. And as I said before, they paired it with Nvidia GTX 1660 Ti graphics card, we got an 80 watts configuration and I think it's a perfect match. Also, HP included 8GB of RAM working in dual channel mode, thanks god, there are two slots for RAM inside and both of them are preoccupied by 4 gigs DDR4 sticks. You can expand the amount of RAM up to overwhelming 64GB total which is an overkill for this machine, I'll leave several links to suitable RAM upgrade kits in the description box for you and my personal recommendation is to install a 16GB kit. I think it is a perfect amount for this laptop, extremely effective and doesn't break the bank. Now talking about storage, there is one PCIe slot for SSD inside which comes occupied by a single hybrid M2 NVMe drive of 32GB Intel Optane memory and 512GB of storage. This Intel Optane is basically a form of disk catching if you were wondering, the idea is to provide users with better and faster work experience. Commonly used data gets replicated onto fast M2 Optane memory storage while less important data is pulled from SSD itself in our case. Anyways, you can replace this hybrid SSD with the larger one, but it won't work with anything above 1 terabyte capacity. I'll leave a link to that below as well. Also, there's an empty 2.5 inch hard drive bay inside, which I think nobody's going to use in 2021 and further, but still, pretty nice to have. Up to 2 terabytes supported. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here comes probably the most interesting part of the video. Right now on your screens, there is a list of games and frame rates which I have created. I've spent a ton of time testing all of them and I really hope it is something you were looking for. All the games were tested on the native screen without any hardware upgrades and with the graphics settings set to high. The results are truly impressive as for a 900 bucks laptop and you have some room to play around with settings. You're gonna live stream GTA 5, maybe drop it to medium preset. Going to play Minecraft, feel free to install the most beautiful shaders out there and modes, use the best settings available and enjoy the process. Being able to tweak things here and there painlessly is just awesome. Now ladies and gentlemen, I want to make a quick pause to recommend you to follow my telegram channel deals of the day, I spent hours on a daily basis to find the best Amazon offers and discounts so you can purchase the best tech products and save money. This channel is mostly aimed at laptops but recently I've made a couple of test posts on gaming gear and they seem to be in a really high demand among the audience. For example, 9 persons bought this Razer wireless gaming mouse through my link because the price is fantastic at the moment, only 69 US dollars when its full price is 129. So yeah, definitely follow deals of the day to be aware of the most interesting offers and now let's get back to our video. Talking about keyboard and touchpad, they're honestly not the best. The keyboard does bend a little when you're typing text and the touchpad is not as precise as you'd want. 
I mean, it's fine to find a movie to watch in the evening, but I wouldn't use it for my everyday tasks. And ladies and gentlemen, if your laptop's touchpad sucks and you don't like it at all, I've recently purchased a new mouse for myself for work and I absolutely love it. It's Razer Orochi V2, it's 100% wireless, it feels awesome in hand and I love how minimalistic and elegant it looks. So if you're looking for a nice mouse for yourself, this is the one I recommend right now for both work and gaming. And also it's pretty affordable. Now although the keyboard feels a little cheap, the overall keys layout is alright, it's backlit and I've typed this whole video script on it and it was not the worst experience I've had. It is actually fine to use. I totally understand that it's impossible to include a fantastic and responsive keyboard into a truly powerful laptop at this price point, but still, I'd wish it to be better. Also, it features a number pad, which is for sure a nice touch for gamers and people who work with numbers. Most gaming laptops at this price point don't have number pads, and it sucks. No, the overall build quality of the laptop is also not the best, it's made of plastic, which doesn't feel like garbage, but it's not premium either. Honestly, I think it's fine to exchange build quality for better performance. It's all about compromises in the budget gaming laptops. On the other hand, I like the exterior of the machine. The bezels around the screen are relatively thin, overall the laptop doesn't scream about its gaming capabilities and the green accents make it look even more interesting. It's actually pretty minimalistic. Now talking about the battery life, it's poor. Because of the laptop's relatively compact design, they couldn't include huge batteries inside and because of this powerful hardware, we only get 3 hours of work in a mixed usage, just under 4 hours watching movies online and 1.5 hours gaming. Yes, that's not much, I know. But let's do a quick recap of what this machine has to provide. Powerful CPU and 6GB video memory GPU, 8GB RAM working in dual channel mode right out of the box, 512 gigabytes storage, amazing 16.1 inch screen, good speakers, travel friendly design, 720p HD webcam, also it performs well in terms of temperatures and we get all of that for only 900 US dollars. This is crazy. Oh and also it offers great connectivity options, it packs a fast type C with a display port, HDMI 2.0, Ethernet RJ45 for fast cable internet, 2 USB type A's, SD card reader, 3.5 combined audio jack and of course a charging port. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it is a great laptop for the budget, definitely one of the best. It has its flaws but they are completely covered by the advantages I named 30 seconds ago. It is a great machine for gamers, beginning streamers, freelancers, students, content creators, marketers, travelers and so on. If you really need that performance in a low budget, this is definitely the laptop for you. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the video, definitely check out the description box below, there is a lot of useful information there, also follow my telegram channel deals of the day to save a ton of money on your next purchase and see you in the next video.